Hello all. I want to talk to you quickly about the uh, giant lichen orb weaver, also known as the Arrhenius bicentenarius. Um, this is an adult female, which isn't the largest one I've seen, but they do tend to rival in size with the black and yellow garden spider, the Argiopirantia. Um, I usually find adults in late June to early July. This is now late July, so I'm actually surprised to see this one right now. But I've been seeing a lot of its offspring. Not this one particularly, but a lot of offspring, younger spiders, uh, spinning their webs all around here. And what I've noticed, a trend here, this is the pine bush in Albany, New York, and this is a fire-dependent ecosystem, and I've noticed that they tend to span their webs from like the lower branches of these trees, and then spin them, they uh, make a the frame from up there, and they sleep up there during the day, and they make the orb part all the way down here and this is relatively low allowing me to give you a good look but I have seen them in this tree which should be from spanning from any of these lower branches here and then all the way down and especially here I've seen them on that branch right there which is about 15 feet up and then go all the way down and they would spin the orb actually it looks like I just found one See if I can, you can find these with the flat, yep, I did. All right, so perfect example right here. There's a, the web looks like it is going from, um, you can kind of see, if you're out here with the flashlight, you can find them by looking for these very strong lines. They build extremely strong webs and it's spinning a web right here right now so that's another adult female so perfect example they spin their orb webs down here and they sleep all the way up there during the day they're strictly nocturnal right now it's almost 10 o'clock at night and they'll take them down they'll take down their webs around four or five in the morning just as the sun's coming out and they'll leave a big Y. They'll leave a Y, they'll eat it from one edge of the web, they'll take it down and they'll go to the other edge and they'll connect the lines and then leave a line and then dra they'll roll up the web all the way up to its hiding spot and then eat it during the day. It looks like I may have found another one. Yep, looks like it did. It's another one right over there. Which, let's see if I can zoom in on it. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. Here we go. There it is. Very fascinating. Extremely fun to find, especially in the springtime. Again, if anyone has any other observations, uh, post them in the comment selection. If you like my videos, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. In the last video, I talked about the Arrhenius bicentenaria spider. Now I'm going to show you how to find them and how easy it is. All right, uh, find a good woodland habitat. All right, uh, hold the flashlight close to your nose and then look for silk like this to reflect right back at you. In which case, this time I actually found two, uh, just right here alone. There's one, and two. And that's just right here on this one tree. Next, um, let's see. Just look around, hold the flashlight close to your nose, look for a spider web to reflect back at you, just like this. Follow it down. And this is not the Arrhenius bicentenarius, it's actually the barn or weaving spider. Very sensitive to my talking. This is actually the same species as the reason why we have Charlotte's Web. Also, same genus, different species. And yeah, so that's in a uh, different Arrhenius. Next. Oh, found another one. All right, so, and I actually didn't find this one before. So let's focus on this. Find a bridge line. 
and you follow the flashlight down, and you find the spider. There it is. The web's not even complete. Oh, may maybe it is. So yeah, that's another one. Next. Oh, another one. And this one actually looks way younger than all the other ones that I found. It's probably straight out of an egg sack. Not sure if it's actually the same species, but... There it is. Let's see if I can... Oh, looks like it is a scene. No, maybe not. Oh, maybe so. Looks so. Looks like it literally just came out of the egg sack. Web's not as dramatically big as all the other ones, but pretty big, considering the size. Oh, and there's another one back there. So you guys get it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, comments in the comment section what more you would like to see. Oh, there's another one. Mention in the comment section what more you'd like to see. Uh, we would like to hear your feedback. Take care. Thank you for watching. Bye.